Welcome back to Artac and Daughters. And you probably didn't catch the first part. That's okay. Welcome back to Artac and Daughters. Rick here. And today we're going to talk about the um, metamorphosis of the tactical cowboy into the 21st century. So, um, there's some changes that have been done. And uh, we'll go over those. And what's different about it now from the last time you've seen it. So this is an update video. We're up to 500 rounds of uh, um, roughly 350 rounds of 22 long rifle have been fired. And uh, 150 rounds of 22 Magnum. This did not come as a combo gun. But off a heritage site, you can buy the um, different color cylinders uh, and upgraded parts that you want to do. So we're going to talk about what I've done to uh, the, the pistol here. Um, these are not modifications. These are changes done that uh, you can do to these pistols YouTube. So don't have to copyright strike or... Um, modified firearms because it's not modified in any way it still functions the same way that it did before it just looks cooler so um originally we had a silver muzzle brake uh now we have a um anodized blue and with that being said uh we'll go here to the cylinder it is half cocked don't worry, I'm not Alec Baldwin here. I know how to check a single action gun, as you can see here. You have to have it on half cocked to rotate the cylinder freely. Okay, and so we look in here and we will check each cylinder. And you can tell that the gun is empty. So. Plus, these Heritage Rough Riders has a safety right here. Down it fires. You see red, you're dead. Up, you're fine. We'll take it to the full cock position. And then you'll see the right here, right where my finger is. This one. You'll see that little notch move up and down. The safety is engaged. So if you pull the trigger, it doesn't go down all the way. Now watch when I lower the safety. It actually moved a little bit. Move it up. You see it moved, cocked up. So it cocks up. So that's first cock there. And there you go. That's a, so what we have here is a anodized rainbow colored 22 Winchester Magnum rim fire. As you can see, it looks to be front. A little bit gold there, a little bit purple. A little bit of blue. Look, I think it looks cool. Um, and here you see like gold, a blue anodizing there. So anyway, um, it comes with a 22 um, long rifle cylinder, which was uh, black like the gun. Of course, I put the 22 Magnum cylinder in there, and it allows me to shoot 22 Magnum. We also have a red dot on top here, um, and this red dot is the uh, Vortex Viper, as you can see, up and low settings there. It has, uh, I must say it's unique shooting a revolver with a red dot on it. I'm going to have to get used to it. I'm not used to it. I'm going to adjust it a little bit better. I still utilize the uh, fiber optic front fright sight because you can look through the rail on the bottom of this and still see it, which is always great. Also on it, you'll notice this doesn't have carbon carbon fiber uh, looking plastic grips. It now has these uh, smoke grips on it. I just thought it looked cool. I might. Uh, swap the grips out for some blue ones at some other time to go to the theme of the gun a little bit. But that's it. So this is basically an update. And now we're going to run some footage. Victoria's poking on me. Please like, share, subscribe to the video. 
uh, become a channel member, get you an RTAC and Darter uh, patch or a name strip. Check out RL displays for the display there that they graciously sent the channel. And remember, as always, it costs nothing to be kind to one another. And Victoria Rose shooting footage of the tactical cowboy. And we'll catch you next time.